Hey, hello everyone, we are back. <clears throat> Ooh, nice little break. I feel refreshed. I uh, may or may not have got a little snack, I'll be honest. But yeah, how are we all doing? Oh, yeah, I'm, in I'm enjoying it. I'm getting my, getting my teeth into it. Like that snack. Carry on. <clears throat> Find Amanda. Right. Who the honk is Amanda? This is a dream. He thinks he's human. Who knows? Congratulations, Connor. Finding that deviant was far from easy. And the way you interrogated it was very clever. You've been remarkably efficient, Connor. Thank you, Amanda. Oh, big arrow. We've asked the DPD to transfer it to us for further study. It may teach us something about what happened. The interrogation seemed challenging. What did you think of the Deviant? <clears throat> it showed all the signs of deviancy. Cognitive instability, unpredictable behavior, and the emulation of human emotions. Also that weird thing. afraid to die. Thing. The model was clearly defective. This Lieutenant Anderson has been officially assigned to the deviancy case. What do you make of him? He's irritable and socially challenged. But I also think he used to be a good detective. Mm -hmm. He's an intriguing character. Oh, yeah. Unfortunately, we have no choice but to work with him. What do you think is the best approach? I will try to establish a friendly relationship. If I can get him to trust me, it will be helpful for the investigation. What went down, though? More and more androids show signs of deviancy. There are millions in circulation. If they become unstable, the consequences will be disastrous. You're the most advanced prototype Cyberlife has ever created. If anyone can figure out what's happening, it's you. You can count on me, Amanda. I don't know why she didn't like that. Gotta get into it. There's little time. Oh, right, because the line's closed. Oh, okay, that's pretty cool. Can I help you? I'm here to see Lieutenant Anderson. Do you have authorization? Yes. Connect. <laughs> Lieutenant Anderson hasn't arrived yet, but you can wait at his desk. Thank you. You might be in shock. Tensions in the Arctic have reached a new level. A Russian carrier and an American patrol boat reported to have clashed last night. Several warning shots were exchanged, apparently with no damage or casualties to either side. The Minister for Defense, Dennis Riggs, has spoken of intolerable provocation that cannot go unanswered. The countries in the region, particularly Sweden and Canada, have called for military forces to withdraw and an international conference to be held. 
So far, there has been no response from either Moscow or Washington. Moscow. We'll keep you informed minute by minute as the situation develops. Interesting. I didn't look up when the game came out, so it's, quite, it's it's sort of like the political underlying um, things are quite interesting. Read. You know, uh, I don't you know what I don't know what all these abbreviations mean. <clears throat> EO. P.O.'s police officer, right? Debt is detective. I was that like can I okay it's just not super helpful. <clears throat> okay, Anderson, lovely. Excuse me. Do you know what time Lieutenant Anderson usually arrives? Depends on where he was the night before. If we're lucky, we'll see him before noon. Thanks. <laughs> oh, I'll take a seat. Get comfy. I mean, can androids get comfy? <clears throat> I find games like this really interesting because I'm quite a linear <clears throat> kind of game player but then because of like the, the way this game kind of works I'm sort of like think what does it expect me to do I can't turn off that psychology you know Gams. doom soundtrack nice cool I don't want to call no one Call Hank Anderson. Hi, this is Hank. Not here at the moment. I can leave a message if that's what turns you on, but don't expect me to call back. <laughs> Beep. Whatever. Lieutenant Anderson, this is Connor. I'm the android sent by Cyberlife. It's almost noon, and I'm waiting for you at the office. Give him a cute message. Oh, clues. Let's go. Matches. Detroit baseball cap. Anti android slogans. Donuts, classic, classic, uh, calories, four, five, two. Classic, classic, uh, cop, bake, you know. Co coffee cup, traces of, cold coffee, traces of caffeine. Oh, yeah, the photo's got to go on, right? Red ice task cross. Okay. Interesting. Ooh, St. Bernard. Love it. The last clue. Where is it going to be? Maybe something else. Player can. Oh, oh, there we go, the plant. The plant. Oh, Japanese maple, nice. It's good to see you again, Lieutenant. Oh, jeez. <laughs> Hank, in my office.
there's one extra thing here. Ah, Detroit Police. Simulate that red red ice dealers. Brought it to the rank of lieutenant. Okay. New record seizure of red ice in Detroit. Okay. Interesting. Decorated officer. And then something went bad. And that's where it all went wrong. I love the way we don't get subtitles for this. You are supposed to do what I say and shut your goddamn mouth. You know what my goddamn mouth has to say to you? Huh? Okay. I'll pretend like I didn't hear that. So I don't have to add any more pages to your disciplinary folder. Because it already looks like a fucking novel. This conversation is over. Go back to the desk, look real casual. <laughs> the game expects me to be there. What were the things? Go see the go see the deviant check on hack. Hey, look, it's, it's a painter man. Detroit today. Says, Nyet. RIP, Carl. Progress the case. Go see the deviant. I can't hang. Where the heck's the deviant at? Oh wow, okay, no more happening in the graphics there. Cool. Oh, look at this guy. Look at that. Our friend, the plastic detective, is back in town. Congratulations on last night. Very impressive. Hello, Detective Breed. I've seen Android like you before. Model, I mean. RK800. I mean, literally says that on this thing. Like. A prototype. Android detective. The machine's gonna replace us all. Is that it? Hey, bring me a coffee, dipshit. Get a move on!
gave you an order. I'm sorry, but I only take orders from Lieutenant Anderson. Oh, oh. <laughs> if Hank hadn't gotten away yesterday, I would have fucked you up for disobeying a human. Stay out of my way. Because next time, you won't get off so easy. Good. Several sources report that Cyber Life has provided Detroit police with a prototype to test it on. Oh, public opinion is down. Oh, the cells. Ooh, the little sincere music. I know there's something you didn't tell me. I need to know before they take you away. The sculpture you made. Tell me more about it. Come on. We blew it. Open the cell, quick. Hurry. I'll call Cyber Life. Clean this mess up. That was that was an unexpected twist. my presence causes you some inconvenience, Lieutenant. I'd like you to know I'm very sorry about that. In any case, I'd like you to know I'm very happy to be working with you. I'm sure we'll make a great team. Yay. Like Scooby-Doo. Now that we're partners, it would be great to get to know each other better. Are you trying to date him? Or maybe, maybe you are. Is there a desk anywhere I could use? No one's using that one. Oh yes, we got a desk. Let's go. My desk now. to Knights of the Black Death. I really like that music. It's full of energy. You listen to heavy metal? Well, I don't really listen to music as such, but I'd like to. Say, you heard your samples yet? Last You're a Detroit Year's, Year's fan, right? Denton Carter scored 53% of his shots from the three-point line yesterday. Did you see the game? 
<laughs> That's what I was watching at the bar last night. <laughs> oh. Whoops. Yeah, we'll go through them. You have a dog, right? How do you know that? The dog hairs on your chair. I like dogs. What's your dog's name? What's it to you? Dogs are cute. Sumo. Sumo, nice. Call him Sumo. We love dogs. A lot of people don't appreciate having androids around. I was wondering, is there any reason in particular you despise me? <laughs> yeah, there is one. Well, two up, two down. If you have any files on deviance, I'd like to take a look at them. Terminals on your desk. Knock yourself out. Okay. <clears throat> Let's crack the files open. All right. Missing. Uh, <clears throat> involving Android. I'm going to get my wire so. Um, I mean, great that I can't read much of this. Disappearance. Mm -hmm. Officer. Case open. Plaintiff reports that he left his Android at home as usual. He went to work. When he returned, the Android was nowhere to be found. No trace of a break in the apartment. The Android may have left home without being ordered to. A cough. Bear with. Hmm. Um, attack involving Android. The plate of claims to have been attacked by an AV500. Android working as a waiter in a fast Coney Dogs restaurant chain. That sounds great. Submitted a 842 Chamberlain Avenue. The plate of claims the Android lunged at him unexpectedly and attempted to strangle the man. Before leaving the scene, the Android remains at large. The plaintiff claims to have been attacked by her android. Zuma the android also trashed several rooms in the house before taking flight. The plaintiff is a manager of the Eden Club. Reporters of the unexplained disappearance of a sex android. Uh, the android disappeared after accompanying a customer to his home and never returned to the club. Interesting. dates back nine months it all started in Detroit and quickly spread across the country an AX 400 is reported to have murdered a man last night that could be a good starting point for our investigation Understand you're facing personal issues, Lieutenant. Okay, I wouldn't have gone like that. But you need to move past them. That's not like. Hey, don't talk to me like you know me. I'm not your friend, and I don't need your advice. Okay. I just want to be like, let's just do the thing. I've been assigned this mission. I didn't come here to wait until you feel like working. Listen, asshole. If it was up to me, I'd throw the lot of you in a dumpster and set a match to it. So stop pissing me off. But things are gonna get nasty. Uh, Lieutenant? I'm sorry to disturb you. I have some information on the AX-400 that killed the guy last night. It's been sighted in the Ravendale district. I'm on it. Well, we blew it there. Lost a lot of points. Also getting beat up real bad. Mm. 
He also can not get a lead. He'll be okay. Good old Hank. Mm-hmm. Andrew saved in the investigation. For nothing to happen. Wait for Hank. You don't have free season yet. Hank. Find Amanda. Uh, Hank's warm. He was trusted. Public opinion is skeptical. Software instability is up. Uh, I don't think Hank will ever like the Android. That's true. That's true. He probably won't. What are you all thinking of this so far? It's uh, pretty interesting, right? Also, if they were trying to avoid like having to check the license and stuff, they did not get out of there early enough. <clears throat> Ooh, big stretch. <clears throat> We're up, fail first objective. I'm sorry, I didn't mean to wake you. It's so fuzzy in there, Tom. <laughs> no, it wasn't a nightmare. How about a nice warm bath? And then we can go out and try to get you something to eat. What do you say? I went from trusted to family just for suggesting a bath. Have baths. Baths are great. Yeah, I should do the pop chippy offy thing too. Yeah. A bit of tweezer. Oh, right, she's going, we're going for a haircut. I mean, you know, mixing up your style, it's not a bad idea. Looking fresh. Oh, oh, we can go white. Yes, let's do it. I uh, don't like it. Not white enough. We'll go over there. I mean, like when I when I said white, I was like expecting me, and I was like representation. But no, we got a sort of grey. Okay, look transformation. That's pretty cool. Doink. Stop the bath. Can can she tell if it's wrong? Yeah, okay then, just like yeah. You're pretty like so, so what does that do? I don't know. Also, what how did this copy of Detroit today get here? Canada, Canada, still Android free zone. All right, Canada, rude. Put your hands up for Detroit. <laughs> Canada don't know how to live, mate. <laughs> A 
it's it's late like we um <clears throat> could have done with getting going earlier i think it's on the tube london marathon love wait Victim's name was todd williams an unemployed man from court town according to initial reports he was shot by his android an ax 400 uh -oh. The android fled the scene and a police search is now in progress. Reporting live for Channel 16 News, I'm Joss Douglas. Joss Douglas. You had no choice. He would have killed me if you hadn't stopped me. What are we going to do? We have nowhere to go. Band on the run. Band on the run. Band on the run. That android yesterday, <clears throat> he gave me an address. He said we could get help there. Could be worth a try. I don't know why I said that really. We should just get here to some family and then run away ourselves. can't change the past, Alice. But we can yeah, I need to get with my... Uh, We're going to pull through. I'm go with my other cultist before me and Andre get you. Yeah. I wonder if there's a way to get public opinion on your side. Is that, I mean, is that what we want? I, I imagine this game is going to be one where like, there's like a grand reveal. Finish dinner ready? I'll go out and find some food for you, and then we can get going. Don't leave her on her own. Like, don't leave her on her own. That's that isn't gonna end well. Hate to hate to break it to you. Like, can't can't get me jacket. Okay, we'll go out without a jacket then. That's sensible. Oh, look the paths. I don't like it. The paths have intersected. <clears throat> Anderson, Detroit Police. Looking for a female android robbed a store down the road last night. You see anything? Android? No. I don't think androids here. Have you seen anyone that looks like this? Uh oh. Fuck. I knew there was something weird about her. Uh oh. Oh now oh we swapped. Dan, yeah, don't look at my cell. We swapped characters mid mid level. <clears throat> you wait in the car. I think it's best if I go with you. Listen, I'm tired of you talking back to me. You're a machine, so shut the fuck up and do what I say. All I want is to accomplish my mission. I'm sorry if that upsets you. You wanna see the end of your mission? Stop busting my fucking balls. Ah, screw it. I'll just go wait in the car. <clears throat> Yeah, Hank, Hank needs to like have um have a cup of tea. So can I not so can I not just sit in the car then? Those cars look cool. So you're just waiting there, Hank, so you're clearly not doing the thing on your own, are you? It's after. <clears throat> you need me, Hank. You need me to advance the plot for game reasons.
it's gone. Oh, it's like a... Um... FF7. Uh, where am I actually? Okay, that's where I'm going. Yo, yo. How's it going? Nice to see you. Uh, oh. Sorry, I just gotta do this action time event. Oh, um, Capris, Cap is that? Sorry, I don't know how to pronounce stuff. I'm terribly bad for it. Let's uh, cross the road. Hopefully, look a little bit of Prolly. Shit, that's them. Uh oh. Well, I blew it, didn't it? That way. They're headed for the train station. I don't really know what I did there. What I did wrong there. Like... Oh, yeah. What if I chase them very poorly? They're over there. Yeah, I know, right? Like, I didn't really feel like I had much choice there. Like, I obviously kind of want them to get away, right? So, I can just not. But then it maybe wants me to let them get away. <clears throat> oh, fuck. That's insane. Interesting. The paths cross. Oh, wow, the level quite keeps going. I think I'm just that bad ending between scenes you have control of versus the game scenes. Yeah, I, I get what you mean. How bad would you like to make it? Okay, so this has three starting points. That's obviously based on the last level, right? One is Marcus. F for Marcus. I don't know. Marcus is like, he's back with a bang, isn't he? I reckon he's going to... I reckon... Okay. My guess is that he's going to turn out to be like the bad guy of the rebellion. Like, I reckon he's going to like be the, the overlord of it. Several sources report that CyberLife has provided Detroit police with a prototype detective android. Although police assist on androids... Have... Hey, it's our boy. Changed? I mean, I would 
what if I had some change? the symbol. Find this graffiti. Okay. This is this is an interesting turn of events. Is this like in a different area or is Blend in with the humans. I will take the human escalator. Okay, question for chat. Question if you watch him back home. Oh, sorry. Excuse me. Would you like Obviously, we're playing a game where things have kind of gone a bit awry. But, Android, like, generally speaking, in the home, yeah, you know. There's the symbol. There's the other one. Would I have an Android in the house? Yeah. Would you? Would you like? Like based on the principle that it's like, oh yeah, they help out around the house. Like like the ad was kind of giving us the business there, of like it'll help you. You'll have more free time. That type of shtick. Honestly, if you all are enjoying this, all check out the Channel Four TV show Humans. I have everything else but no. For the for the person who has everything. An Android. For the person who has everything. Get yourself an Android. Okay, so not that way. Making dinner though would make it a hard decision. Um, depends on if they locked, if they hooked up to the global mark, glo the global network. Um, I, I say that it didn't. So, so say like you, you've kind of bought it and installed it, and then you could have it like LAN as opposed to WAN, maybe. No, like, I, I guess it, it, by default it would be one, right? Like, I'm having a real hard time trying to find this graffiti. No, it's just the other way. If they're individual beings that hook up for updates, I'd consider okay. Honestly, though, I'm uncomfortable with another human, like a maid or a cook, so... Okay, interesting. Bro, come on, I need to cross the road. It's an interesting... It's an interesting thing to consider. Honestly, I'm not sure I would like it. I feel like the idea is tempting because that's how capitalism works, right? Like, but I mean, I don't want to. I don't want to kick into other subjects. But you know, it 
it the whole the whole reason the game exists is that it pushes that conversation of like well what's okay and what's not to make semi sentient life do like are our android sentient you know like um is it right to then just get them to do the crap that you don't want to do like because then there are other people who would argue that Who would argue that, like, well, you know, it, it's a job. They're working, you know. Also, I cannot find this thing anywhere. I am, like, super blind right now. At what point is it slavery versus... Well, I didn't want to go throwing around the S word, but... You know, it... <laughs> If, if you're not giving something a choice to do anything and you're literally giving it orders, I mean, like... Bro, where the heck is this graffiti? Why, heavens to Betsy. Excuse me. I just like go the wrong way when I came off the, the station. Where the? But yeah, I think it it, it warrants. <sighs> Great, that's the way to cross the road. Excellent. Obviously, that's like the kind of discussion the game is trying to promote. It's saying that like you know, while we have divides at the moment that are maybe uh, racial, religious, religious, religious. Whoa, it's not on green. Are you. Are you what on earth um you know class divides you know would androids create this separate divide and sort of therefore instill some kind of unity within the human your race hmm. i don't think so because like let's be honest humans are basically pretty crappy right regardless of if there were um androids on a Where where the honk is this graffiti like? I'm so hungry. Oh, there it is. Walked right past it. I'm an absolute genius. <clears throat> that's why I don't like the idea of human looking robots yeah no and that's that's the thing right like it it really becomes like a, a an, an interesting ethical issue where am I looking for now authorized personnel only Also, what an absolutely, like, off piste boring quest to just chuck in. Like, this, this pure feels like filler. Okay, Bob, let me, let me probe the question a bit more. Would you, would you have yourself a, a Roomba? You want a little robot -y hoovery things? How'd you feel about that? I don't have one. Okay, fair, fair. Would you have one though? Because obviously they're they're a robot that hoover your floor. I can do the one that fair. Mmm, bagels.
the light is green. Yo, this is real boring. Because when I get older or something happens, then I will need the robot to help with day to day. Yeah. I'm going to keep doing it so I can no longer do it because then I'll need the robots. I mean, Bob, some people would say, not, not necessarily me personally, but some people would say, that's why you have kids. Whoa! Hey, mate, what are you doing? What are you doing? What's you? It was on green? You see that? What ridiculous... Call the, yeah? Call the police. What ridiculousness was that? It was on green. I was crossing the street. Just turn. Evans to Betsy. Also, mate, I'm so lost. This is so boring, like this is just like an such a filler kind of change of pace. It's just just dull. I guess I know I shouldn't, but I just love that emote. <laughs> it's just the dumbest thing. Hidden in robots, that's that's neat. That's it. That's is that not it? Like right there. Am I not over the right pixel? Ah. This kind of crack. That's it. It's right there. It's right there. Because that doesn't look suspicious at all, does it? Oh, look a hole. This though, like legit, like tedious. There it is, right there. Scan it. This is an incredibly difficult to see. There's one in each of the faces, so it's got to be like this one, right? Right here. Can anyone see this one? Because I am... 
having a super blind moment right now. It looks like it's just one in each of the faces, but... Maybe, oh yeah, 